Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. It's me, your girl, PLC, host of Live Radio. We are live right now at 2019 Sister in Business Expo, man. Yes, I said it. Sister in Business Expo, man. We got to support who supports us. We got to support our black-owned businesses, man. We got to keep our black-owned businesses alive. Because you know Revive is alive 365, 24-7 a.m. to the p.m. You know everything we do is a full bull effect because it's for you and about you. So definitely stay locked to the timeline. You never know what you may see. Stay locked. Let's get it. Revive is alive. Let's go. Sister in Business Expo 2019. Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. It's me, your girl, POC. I'm standing here with the CEO, the boss, the one in charge, man. She's on her second annual, yes, I said it, second annual, man. Sister in Business Expo. How you feeling, man? It feels amazing. The energy, the love, the support in this room is indescribable. Yes, yes, I thank God for women of color, for black women, for sisters who are not afraid to follow their dreams yes, yes. become business owners. Here we are today all because of that and I'm just so blessed. Right quick, man. We gotta get to this outfit, get to this hat. Where does outfit come from today? What was you inspired um, by? You know what? I am always inspired by the African culture. Yes, I love yes. it so much. I was looking to do something that had like uh, some funk, some flair. flair. You got it. A little funk, a little yes. class, but yes. I wanted to make sure I represented my hometown. And that. an incredible opportunity and such an incredible space you know I, I thought it was a conference but what I found is that it's an actual movement and you know women black women particularly are trending in society and so to have an opportunity to be here with so many women who are striving to make good out of whatever crumbs we are left on the table is very very exciting and I'm so proud of my sister Asia for her work and the idea that she would create a space for us to learn about our greatness and to be able to explore and express our greatness is, is quite a bit. Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. I'm standing here with the one and only, the boss right here, man. Bronner Brothers is in the building. Introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. Bernard Bronner, CEO of How does it feel to be at Sister and Business Expo 2019? I am loving it. Yes. Like I said, the, the spirit in here is just so wonderful. And Bronner Brothers represents business, and today I am feeling tons and tons of black women business on. What's your business? It's called Get Kinky Naturals. It's about empowering, um, embracing your natural hair. Okay, Get Kinky Natural. Let's go embrace it. That's support who supports you. Come get these black owned products, man. How can they find you? How can they stay locked? Oh, well, they can definitely find me online at solaranaturals17.com or I actually have a salon that's located on Ogon Avenue, 74th and Ogon. How can they find you? How can they stay locked? Riz Craze underscore on Instagram. At Riz Craze underscore on Instagram. Yes, yes. Support these black owned businesses. Thank Let's you. go. System Business Expo 2019. Doctor, which you can follow us on Instagram at the Student Loan Doctor. Um, so I'm excited to be here. Um, to be quite honest, I don't believe I should be here, right? I'm going to tell you why. Because all I did was decide a few years ago to go from overdraft, broke, depressed, stressed to overflow. And so my story, the student loan doctor, that's weird y'all to have a business tackling Sally Mae, that's weird. But it only took off because I decided to speak up, much like she said, I didn't see anyone in the marketplace talking about how to handle and tackle student loan debt. So you know what they say, you gotta be the change you wish to see. How does it feel to be at the System Business Expo today? Amazing. I love being with my people. I love encouraging, empowering, and sharing knowledge. I'm super excited to be here. And Philly's right around the corner, so yes, yes. it feels like I'm at home. And your keynote speak, what can we be expecting today? Well, we're going to talk about, we're going to get down to the nitty and gritty in business. I'm going to give you guys some encouraging words and really just let you know how my journey has been um, in being an entrepreneur. Awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah,
Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. We are at the Sister in Business Expo 2019 here in the city of Philadelphia. And you already know, man, it takes a team to put everything together. And I'm standing here with one of the staff members of the expo. How does it feel to be working the expo today? It feels amazing. These women are phenomenal. And being behind the scenes, you see how much work is put into having an event like this. Yes, yeah, we come and we have a good time and we spend our money. But behind the scenes, it takes a lot of work, like months of preparation just for this one. I am amazing that how many women came out and showed up and showed up and how creative yes. they are with their stuff. I mean, speaking I'm of creative, look at that shirt right there. They gave y'all a great t-shirt today. I'm wearing this all year. <laughs> I'm wearing this all year. So my sisters win, we all win. Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. I'm standing with the lovely host right now. How does it feel, you know, to be hosting the second annual because you were the first host for the first annual. So how does that feel? Well, it's just amazing, partially because it's such a positive event where everyone that are small business owners or people that just want to network can come out and they can do that right here in the city of Philadelphia. So as soon as they asked me to come back, I was so excited. It's about that time. You're going to see me and our team a lot during the rest of the tour and year after year after year because we got to get sister in business to get to 72 years also. For people who are in here right now who are trying to get where you're going, or where you are and trying to get where they are going right now, what would you say to them? I would say get started doing something and get started small yes. and, and watch it grow. Yes, Take your time. Do not rush. Yes, yes. Like I say, Brown Brothers didn't get big overnight. This is 72 years. Ago. 72 years. How does it feel to say 72 years? Sheesh! I appreciate you for supporting us, man. Thank you for coming okay. to Philadelphia, man. Have a great day.